All right, first question is from John Delia. How should you transition to a lower volume or intensity workout routine if you believe that you're overtraining? That's a good question. You know, um, we talk a lot about not overdoing it in the gym, either through the amount of exercise you're doing or the, how hard you're doing it. So once you've listened to us and you and you hear and you hear that message and think, okay, I need to, I need to scale back. Where do they start? You know what I mean? Where, where's, where's the first place they start? How should they? scale back and how do they know they're not scaling back god that's a real you know you, you definitely much. gave us a really challenging one to start off with here yeah. because yeah. that that depends on this person uh, so much on on who i who i'm talking to first of all i want i think I, it's important to say that this is less common than i think uh people think right this is uh i don't want uh, it's just like the people that have like really fucked up metabolisms right that have uh, adrenal fatigue like it's it's less common than you think. It's become popular and people are talking about it more. I, I don't think that's too many people are like really overtraining. I think mm. that there's a lot of people that are probably pushing their body too far, too much without getting the proper rest and nutrition. Yeah. And that balance should be should that that should be fixed a little bit for optimal results. Um, yeah, I think people are like spinning their tires because they aren't applying proper recovery uh, programmed into their workout routines. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I would agree with that. I, I don't I don't think it's as common. I mean, in the athletic world, I could make you know, I could probably see that a lot more prevalent. But um, at that point, you're that's part of, you know, being in sports, like you are going to push the thresholds more so than you would if I'm just trying to, you know, get lean, get, you know, build muscle, get healthy. That's a totally different, uh, uh, you know, goal I'm, I'm trying to achieve. Yeah. I, so here's a good rule of thumb. And of course it depends on the individual, but a good rule of thumb is to start with reducing intensity. I think That's when you point. feel like you're overdoing it and you're just, your body's fried, um, and you're not responding and you think you've really identified, okay, I think I'm just doing too much. Um, reduce the intensity before you cut down the, the volume and the frequency. <clears throat> I can take a complete beginner and easily overtrain the crap out of them in a 10 minute high intensity, Good ridiculous point. workout, but I could also train them for 30 minutes every single day and not overtrain them good so point. long as I manage the intensity. And then the volume uh, is the same there or even more, but yep. it's really, that's such a good point. I think that's, yeah. a, that's actually a really good place to start is if you think you're this person, you probably or most likely are the person too who is doing sets, every set to failure, you know, low rest periods, heart rates elevated, you're drenched in sweat on your workouts. Instead of breaking or stepping back on the frequency of, of your training, back off the intent. I think that's that's great yeah. general advice. Yeah, I would go, I'd just go easier. So if you're like, oh, I'm overdoing it, do your same workout, but now go to the gym and cut your intensity down by 25 percent two so, reps two reps short of failure yeah so stop you know cut your sets shorter a couple reps or go lighter focus on form and technique this was my one of my favorite strategies for myself when i would reach this point i would still go to the gym i would still do the same workout but rather than pushing the intensity i would just perfect my form i'd go light i'd squeeze full range of motion feel good and i would do that for until my body felt really good and rested which could take as long as 5 weeks such a good point and also uh you know a lot of people think that you're going to lose because all of a sudden you know i before i was pushing myself with 90 pound dumbbells on chest press and going to failure and oh now that I'm, i listen to mind pump and, and i might be overdoing it now i'm going to do sets with 60s or 70s they're so afraid like they're going to lose a bunch of muscle that way a lot of times what you see if you are that person that was overdoing it even cutting back on the intent they end up getting more results you, from you it. gain more muscle yeah. yes. that's that's what happened to me the first time i did this um i i this was years ago i was in my 20s i think and i cut the intensity back because I, I i was just kept running into the same brick wall mm -hmm. so finally i said okay i'm gonna i'm gonna reduce the intensity and i scheduled it so i'm gonna do this for for four weeks and um, I actually built a little bit of muscle. I built a little bit of muscle. And then when I went back to my higher intensity workouts, I was stronger than I was before. I didn't reduce the sets and I didn't reduce the frequency. Now, if reducing the intensity doesn't do it for you, the next thing I would do is reduce the volume of your, of your workouts. If that doesn't do it, then the third thing I would reduce is the frequency. So frequency refers to how many, how, how many times a week you work out or how, many, how often you work out. Volume refers to the amount of work you do in a, in a in your workouts. So, you know, ten sets for my chest. This ten sets is considered the volume, and then of course intensity is how hard you work out. So, 
Number one, and this again can be different from person to person, but generally speaking, number one, reduce intensity. If that doesn't work, then reduce volume. If that doesn't work, then reduce frequency. And go down until you think you found your your sweet spot and then start to slowly move yourself back up. The other thing I want to mention on this is the amount of intensity and volume and frequency that you can handle is different uh, from time to time. Yes. Um, sometimes you could do a lot more. Maybe you're sleeping better. Uh, your life isn't as stressful. Your nutrition is really good. Um, maybe you haven't trained hard for a long time. So now you can handle a lot of, yeah. of volume, a lot of uh, intensity. Sometimes it's much less. Maybe you have a stressful situation going on at home. Let's say you just had a, a new baby um, and you're like, well, you know, I, I can barely handle. I, I used to be able to work out five days a week. And now I can only work out three days a week. That's okay. That's okay because as your circumstances change, then your workout volume can change as well. Yeah, that's all great general advice. Also, I mean, this is why that like companies like Whoop and, and they're they're experimenting with HRV. They're trying to give you some kind of metric to kind of follow mm -hmm. along with this. Might might be worth looking into something like that just to give you an added, uh, you know, set of eyes uh, in, in the process to see your trends.